It's that time of the year again. Awards season. Just last weekend, the 95th Annual Academy Awards aired, hosted by Jimmy Kimmel. This time with no slaps, though. That's right, but many of the nominated movies did slap. Maybe the voters actually did watch the films before making their votes this time around. Well, I'm not so sure about that, Aaron. Did you see that Elvis was nominated for Best Picture? I mean, that just ain't right, let me tell you. Hey, don't slander Elvis. Elvis was a great film, and Austin Butler did an amazing performance of Elvis in that movie. Yeah, I mean, me personally, I wasn't a fan, but I definitely cannot deny that his performance was pretty good. Still, I think Brendan Fraser was more deserving for his standout performance in The Whale, a movie that almost entirely depended on his acting. Yeah, it was no shock that Brendan Fraser won the award. Shocking that it's his only first, it's his first Oscar in his career. Yep, but unsurprisingly, Kiu Kwan and Jamie Lee Curtis also won their first Oscars for their supporting roles in Everything Everywhere All at Once. This is arguably one of the biggest movies of 2022, and one of my favorites of the year, too. I fully agree. Watching Everything Everywhere is an experience unlike any movie I've seen before. And I was happy to see it was the big winner this year with seven awards. Yeah, it's definitely more deserving than All Quiet on the Western Front, which swept the te technicals. But I kind of wish some of the other movies had a chance to shine. Like, I thought Tar and the Banshees of Eni Sharon were actually really good. However, obviously they aren't quite as easily accessible. Same thing for a movie like Nope, which didn't get any nominations, uh, probably because the voters are just a little too scared for that one. Even with the snubs, it was an overall great night for Hollywood. Now let's go back to the anchors in the studio.